So in terms of mapping out the future of that relationship, and in fact the relationship between sport, government, education and society as well as, uh, as the world of commerce, who do you think are the key stakeholders? Who needs to be part of that discussion? The, it's fairly clear that we could identify the stakeholders. The problem is actually getting everybody to agree that they are stakeholders and they need to debate and discuss this together. I've been working closely with UNESCO and over the years been trying to help UNESCO use sport more in the areas of education, culture, heritage. And of course UNESCO recently organised their MENEPS meeting in Berlin last year. There was a, a declaration which is from all member nations of UNESCO, 198 nations, where they believe there is a need to review, and review very many matters of sport, you know, sport participation by all, um, sport specifically as it relates to mega events, concerns about corruption and match fixing, but certainly in the whole area of mega events, you know, governments are becoming aware that they're the major funders, financiers of mega events, and are mega events leaving the legacy? If you then look at the commercial sponsors and the sponsorship industry being the creators of the engine that generates the revenues and then the broadcasters, it means that the stakeholders need to be brought together. Are the governments, are the sports bodies, are the event organisers, are the content providers, the sponsorship industry and the sponsors themselves, the academics. So we need to bring together uh, you know, all the people that can actually contribute in the debate and discussion and not just leave it there as being some way of generating money just for an international federation.